Let's get started building AI applications completely free of charge. Now, this is possible with this awesome local AI stack. It is a starter kit to build local only AI apps, but that costs you zero dollar to run. They just run locally on your computer. Um, it's an awesome starter kit built by the awesome Yoko. And um, maybe we can have a quick look at what this looks like. So we have this local AI getting started with a little Q&A um, uh, Q with an AI on your own documents. Now, in this example here, the documents are specifically um, these um, essays here by Mark Andreessen, uh, why AI will save the world. And um, here's like, will AI take all our jobs? So maybe what we can um, ask is, as a software engineer at Superbase, is my job safe from AI? Now, um, now this is running locally with um, the Olama model. It's, um, you know, since it's running locally on kind of your machine, it's not the fastest, obviously, but it is completely free. Um, and so that is, um, that is really cool. Okay, and so now, well, based on the context, it's asking about the potential impact of AI uh, the job at Superbase. Um, uh, something be feared, but rather seen as a moral obligation to improve society. This sounds lovely. Um, do more risk. Uh, yeah, okay, well, um, this, this is very good. Superbase automate certain tasks functions within Superbase. Anyway, it looks like the AI does have um, some idea what will happen to me at Superbase. We'll, we'll find out. Um, but yes, the great thing is you can get started with this. So the stack is um, using Olama. So you can use, um, you can install this uh, locally depending kind of on your um, system here, Mac OS, you can just download and then I have it running here um, locally. And then basically um, we're using yeah, Superbase uh, locally. So with the Superbase CLI, uh, using Langchain and Next.js and then and Transformer.js um, for the embeddings generation of, of the local content. So once you've, um, you know, once you've uh, kind of uh, cloned the repository, uh, installed the dependencies, now, you know, installed Olama, uh, the Superbase CLI. So uh, we can now call Superbase start. Uh, Superbase start. So my um, Superbase is already running. So what we can do uh, real quick is just super ASDB reset because I already ran the, um, the generation of, um, you know, all the embeddings, embedding generation uh, scripts. I already ran that locally, but so, um, yeah, we basically would, um, run uh, super base start which I already have. So what I can do is super base status. Um, so that gives me the API URL and the, um, you know, anon key, the service role key. So in this case, we'll um, need the service role key, kind of copy that out into um, the super base um, private key. Uh, yeah, here the service role key into the private key. Uh, and then what we can do is we can look at um, the Superbase Studio here. So we can see we have one table. So our schema is defined in um, here, Superbase migrations. So this is kind of our uh, schema here. So that's, that's set up as we run Superbase start. Um, and that's the schema configuration that we need for um, kind of length chain. Uh, you see there's nothing in there um, just yet. So what we need to do is we need to run um, the script and this uh, script, we can have a look what this does. So in source scripts, 
Um, so what you can see is just basically um, creating a bunch of vectors for the content. So maybe first of all, we can look yeah, into our database here now. So we've basically chunked kind of down, um, you know, the content, uh, and then we uh, generated the embeddings, the, the vectors um, for this content so that we then can find the relevant content to, to the user's questions. So if we look maybe at the um, script here, index um, block local is I think what we run. Yes, index block local. So if we look at index block local here, um, yeah, we're using kind of Langchain, Superbase JS, um, and Transformers JS here um, to then kind of split up sort of our blocks uh, into chunks and basically generate um, the embeddings and then write them to the database. And here we're using the uh, pipeline with this like um, open source model. Um, great. So then once we have that here, we can spin up um, our npm run dev, spin this up locally. And so we then have it running here. Um, maybe we can open up the console as well, kind of look at the network request. And then maybe we can ask um, what jobs will be most impacted by AI. And we can now see um, we're making a question here to our API, QA PG vector. So maybe while this is working locally, app API QA PG vector. And then we can see here, um, we're using land chain, uh, all llama, kind of all these things to then um, perform. Yeah, kind of put our prompt together. What have we kind of look through the documents, um, such and such. And then we get our streaming response back and based on the context provided, various jobs across different industries, most in leadership roles. Okay, that's great. I'm not a, not a CEO, so looks like I should be fine. Um, anyway, thanks so much, Yoko, for building this um, local AI stack. It's a really, really nice way to get started without needing to buy any credits or needing to sign up for any accounts. Um, fully locally, fully open source. Thanks for tuning in and we can't wait to see what you will build.